is Maria and today I'm coming back with another Toast Designer tutorial and we're going to create a this geometry and oscillation kind of look and without further ado I'm going to start with you guys I'm going to delete everything and start from zero so we are going to go to the subfamily and bring a torus and the property we're going to change the primitive type to polygon we're going to change the orientation to z axis and i already know that i'm going to change the radius to 0.5 to 0.45 uh, let's delete this and instead of one we are going to need 0.9 instead I know that I'm going to need a little bit more of rows, so I'm going to add 26 and 55. Uh, and I really like to see uh, the wireframe, so view active and W to see it because every uh, of these points are going to create the instancing setup. So I want to see how much I'm going to have. And we're going to copy and paste. And on this one, I'm going to increase the radius and the row and columns. So I'm going to need change the radius to 1.7. And I'm going to leave this one as it is. And I'm going to increase the rows to 36. And the columns to 120. I'm going to copy and paste, and this is my third torus. And I know that I'm going to change again the radius to 2.8. It's the same, and I'm not gonna change the rows and columns. I reckon that's enough. And after that, I'm going to add transforms to any of my first uh, I'm going to control C and control B I have uh, the same transform after them I know that I want to translate to minus 0.5 and I'm going to do the same as 0.5 that is when I merge these two uh, what I'm going to have is instead of having having them uh, in the same axis, they're going to be a little bit of offset between them. Uh, so let's add a node with all n. You can add a node, and this is going to be the base for my instancing. I'm going to call it ins. After that, we are going to create my geometry. I will need a sphere because that's the geometry that I'm going to instance in. And I'm going to add a box. Again, yes. What I'm going to do, first my... The radius is going to decrease to 0.2 and I'm going to change the primitive to polygon and the detail I'm going to increase it and for now that will be all and my box and I'm going to change the size to 0.4 And we are going to create a boolean. And there's probably a better way to do this, uh, but this is the one that I use. Uh, so if you have an idea to how to make it uh, better, you can let me know in the comments. But what I did was do a minus b, and over this, I center a little bit. So, like that, 
I have like a tiny sphere. And after that, I'm going to add a transform and a node. Again, with all N, you can create nodes. So I know that I'm going to create this as a rotate of 90. And my uniform scale instead of 1 is going to be 0.2. On this node, we are going to come to the com page. I'm going to bring my geometry. I'm going to also add a light. And I'm going to add a camera. And I'm going to bring this a little bit higher. And I also need a render from the top. We have a little bit of that. I'm going to create a, a node this render, and I know that I need to move it a little bit further. And this is going to be called I'm going to call BG, and I'm going to see it over here so we can see it while working. That's how I like it, but you can also see it in the back. With display backdrop props, you can see it here. For me, it's a bit distracting, so I like to turn it off. And I see it on the right side instead. So after this, we are going to come to the geometry. And we are going to turn on the, geom the instancing page. And we're going to come to the translate operator. We're going to add P0, P1, and P2. Now we have the setup of the instancing. And um, I know that I will need to go a little bit further with my camera to see all the area so i'm going to come up to 14 to see all of it and this is pretty much the setup so now we're going to add a long material i like to add nodes even to material just to play around if I want to. I add my node, and in this case, I'm going to use the emit, it's going to be a blue color. It was similar to the one that I before, and, and I turn off the shiny. Um, after this, what we are going to do is start moving the torus. So we are going to need a LFO from the shop family, LFO. We are going to add a mat because we know that we need to do some mat. And we are going to add an O. And again. I know that I want to move the range to minus one, so from minus one to one to make the value positive, and we're going to range from zero to three sixty. So now they're going to be all positive, and on our transforms, what we are going to do is. Come to the rotate, and we are going to have this node. Okay, let's rename the node to rot and we toe and rotors, and we are going to have it on all. Mm -hmm. So they are going, I'm going to <laughs> uh, turn off the viewer, 
And I'm going to do the same with my um, with my tree transforms. It's going to be super crazy, so we don't want that. Instead, we will need a frequency of 0 0.03. That's going to make everything move smoothly instead of uh, moving quite crazy. Uh, we are also going to change the type to RAM. And the other thing that I did previously, it was to rotate, uh, we have this transform as a positive number and this one as a negative number. So they are going like in different directions. Okay, I'm going to extend a little bit this so you can see it a little bit better, but that's what is happening on the bear. Similarly, we are going to do something uh, pretty similar on the transform of the in something element. So we are going to, we could copy and paste this, so let's do it. And this is going to be the root of the ins and setup, I know that this needs to be um, the LFO can move a little bit faster, so we're going to change the frequency to 0.8, but you can play with it. And the math is going to be from minus minus one. Uh, in this case, I want negative points, like negative range as well. So I'm going to play with 120 and minus 60. Uh, these are the numbers I used previously. So for that reason, I'm going to use them. And I'm going to reference this to my transform. And I'm going to rotate in the, we're going to rotate in the y axis. Uh, looks a bit weird, but it's going to get better. So bear with me. We are going to add after the render set up an operator called SSAO, and we are going to add a little bit more samples. We are going to increase it to twenty. The steps, the sample steps are going to go to 40 and the surface is going to go max, like 70. And instead of half, we're going to change this to full. And we're going to add 0.3, so a little bit more. Crazy. Let's commit plus add 0.3. And the constraint, sorry, con contrast going to go up to five. Uh, the blue radius, I want a little bit more. I'm going to, so that's going to create like a dark setup. Over the line, we are going to change uh, this a little bit. So we're going to go to the light setup and we are going to dim this a little bit, like 0.8 on that. And the X form, instead of having in the positive, like having in front of the object, we are going to have it behind. So that creates a little bit a different effect. And let me check something. And we are going to add the other element uh, we need and noise. And this 
nice it's going to have a zero period and the output is going to have a little bit of my scale and not crazy and i'm also going to add an over and this over we'll need a constant i'm going to change the input to one and this constant in my case i want to use blue but going a little bit darker um after the noise this is looking black because the noise is here but before doing anything i'm going to add from the palette we're going to come to the image filters and i'm going to add the, a bloom i'm going to close the palette and from the noise i'm going to add its element and you can play with the look that you want to but in my case i know that the blur size i want to decrease it a little bit so i'm going to go a little bit like uh, seven the iterations are going to increase to ten And I'm going to change the glow color to black. I'm also now that my threshold needs to go to 0 0.5, 0 0.49. And the intensity, we are going to decrease a little bit to 5. So it's starting to look a little bit more like the setup that I have before, the RAM of the low level i want to reset like by low so these are going to i'm going to change this to cut my drum and i'm pretty much done he's jumping a little bit every time in my lfo I need to change a little bit. Let's have sign. No. Okay, the other thing is incorrect. Yeah, I reckon this time to find and now I switch this and say yes run and now now we are working. Um so the other element that you could see previously is that I like to have two different cameras. And I'm um, going to add camera blends. And from this camera, I'm going to copy and paste this. And this one is also going to come to my camera blend, but this is going to come to 1.5 or something. So pretty close. And again, we can copy and paste this because I reuse a lot my setups and this is going to add all cam blend and the first thing of a render instead of cam one we're going to change to cam blend blend one and because at the moment it's blending i want to have a sequence and we are going to 
change this from zero to one because again I, I just need the sequence from one camera to the other I'm going to reference my chef and let's add this quite simple so this is pretty much the tutorial you can play a little bit with the colors uh, this operator is making a lot of changes in the look if we turn off it's pretty bland and you can play with this have like more content for example a half a because radius is going to change all the look it's working and you can also change the cameras instead of going to 14 going to 12 for example and this to 2 so you have a smallest range and you can see more of the look um, and again you can play with colors you'll have a different look uh, i really like how the blue look the reds and yellows also look really nice um, but it's your time to play so i hope you enjoy this tutorial if you have any question let me know and if you do the tutorial i would like to see it uh, so let me know and see you again in another tutorial or in